Hello. Hello. Do do. Infinity sound. No, we don't want that. Waiting for Kanan to get in here. Yes, Krivet, unfortunately, Batman Returns has decided to not work. The contacts were positively filthy, even with my anti-corrosion agent. 
it is going to take something a little more drastic to clean that, and in order to do that, I have to have one of those little fancy screwdrivers to undo the cart. Don't have one of those. So what we've narrowed it down to for tonight, if anybody gets in here other than you... <laughs> Zombies ate my neighbors. Actraiser, which I actually got a game attack. And Northworm Jim. Both of them. <laughs> Bow, welcome. Go and put this on the Twitter machine. Make the last two hours before After Dark go by swimmingly fast. I was going to do Race to the Finish, but you know I was going to wait for Shelby to get back in town before we do that. Just didn't feel proper to go and do that without her being here. She said she was in the middle of a dungeon in Skyrim. She's going to finish that up, and then she's going to get on the call. So it'll be just a minute, and hopefully a few more people will get in here. Because otherwise I'm just broadcasting to whatever. How dare you, <laughs> How dare you, Mal? <laughs> That's hardly not nice. <laughs> Pro-maced? Pro, Pro-maced? She promised or pro-maced? I don't know what that means. These words that you speak, I do not understand. Promised? She was going to flush row show you can... <laughs> A muted tweet deck. Are you guys hearing that? Oh, there he is. Turn that off. Okay, there we go. Because I remember the little thing we had to do from last time in order to get Kanan to come in on the call to do this, so. Ah... I just know everybody's just chomping at the bit for After Dark. You know what? I'm going to do an executive decision. We're going to do Act Razor because I haven't played this in a very long time. And when this game gets started, I'll tell the wonderful story that ended up with a fight between me and my brother over this very game, which almost resulted in him going to a trip to the hospital. <laughs> If you can call her words like that, Mal, then you're like, you can totally see, like, being as close as friends as, like, my stepbrother was to his ex-wife. <laughs> the things that they said to each other in public, whoo. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the... Twitter machine again, just so people can see it. Mandy, welcome. Mandy, would you be so kind to go and throw this on the Twitter machine so people know what's going on? 
We're going to get started soon as Kanan wraps up for Skyrim action. We're Skyrimming. Ooh, dirty. No, it's not Skyrim. <laughs> Although that you're saying Skyrim, people will come rushing in here thinking it's Skyrim. <laughs> we would do that had I had better hardware. Keeping things decidedly retro for the time being. Yes, I would not be surprised if she was doing heavy armor in Skyrim. She's probably rocking around some heavy ebony armor set. No, I didn't make you a liar. I, you, you misheard. I was talking about how my co-hostess is playing Skyrim right now and I'm waiting for her to finish up. <laughs> He's not playing Skyrim. Don't watch it now. Spam all the streams. And for those of you who are wondering why I keep looking over to the left, I have two monitors set up. The one in front of me that has the stream running and the one over here that has TweetDeck and Skype machine. Butch armor probably protects better, Mal. That's why. like why in Fallout the Brotherhood of Steel make no distinction over how their armor looks whether the wearer is male or female because guess what they both protect well it's probably just the interior that's slightly tweaked Act Razor, Mandy. We're going to be doing an Act Razor for the Super Nintendo. Tom is tired. Tom was working on schoolwork up until about like three hours ago. Doing stuff for class. Oh, you're going to like it. It was actually the game that Craig played on Screwing Around and then Chad just totally didn't get it and he was just doing everything wrong on purpose. <laughs> Yes, very, very cool game. Basically, you play God, and then you bring the people to the land, and then your people ditch you when everything's cool. After Dark starts in two hours, ten minutes. No, no, this will be over well before that. This whole thing was actually just supposed to facilitate time before After Dark starts. Because everybody's been chomping at the bit all week ever since it was confirmed that it was going to happen. It was your first SNES game? My god, well, that's a great place to start. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and open this spell right now and just let the title screen loop while we're waiting for Kanan. So. Oh, Kanan just said call! <laughs> now, as soon as you hear her in the chat, let us know. So I should have it fixed from last time. Hello. Hello. So what is I hear that Mal saying bad things about me in chat? Yes, he says you wear butch armor in Skyrim. No, I wear skank armor in Skyrim. There is a difference. <laughs> okay, hey, good sign from Kriven. He says he can hear it, so I fixed it on the first try. Progress. Okay. Alright. So, tonight, we are going to play some Act Razor. 
Oh, goody. And this time you're actually on Twitch TV as opposed to Justin TV. Yes, yes, uh, through Miss Rucro, who's currently on strange. vacation. Okay. Sounds- she is spent an enormous amount of time helping me get my channel set up proper, so that way we wouldn't have to worry about any of the problems that come with going with Justin and all the advantages that go with Twitch. Ah, hear that music. On a side note, yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Best Uber facts ever. What was that? Females that play video games have more sex than females who don't play video games. Fuck yeah! I believe that. <laughs> I like to play with the joystick. <laughs> Damn right. All right. Either way, either way I'm playing with the joystick. Mm-hmm. Yes. So there you go. Act Racer by Quintet and Enix. Yes, the same Enix that does Dragon's Quest. Or Dragon Warriors, we would know them in North America. A little angel friend here to help me. All right, chat. Who should I name myself? <laughs> the troll go off. Great start, Tom. Great. Hey, guys, I'm mastering my joystick. Undergrads. Mmm. Flash dance fanny pack. No, not gonna happen. Mmm. Names. Master names, yes. Master's name. Well, you can put my name in then. <laughs> or we should just put baiting. Put baiting as the name. So, uh-huh. so you'd be master baiting. There you go. Popo! Yes, Popo! <laughs> Trollolo Popo. No, no. Popo. Just Popo? Do you not Oh, like Master it? Popo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it was Mr. Popo. Still, Popo. No, because Kami was God, and Kami's God in Japanese. So that <laughs> Put Jeth- Jethro Doll. No, Popo. Okay. Because you guys are so funny. Alright. Well, I have like a funny reading voice for this. Oh, Sir Popo! See, I don't know if this is going to work now. I, I, I don't know if I want to see it. I really know. Yeah, Kribben, based on what you've been showing lately, this is disturbing. <laughs> Sir Popo, I am the angel sent to help you recover your lost strength. Really? You're gonna have a, a cockney angel? Yeah, yeah, yeah why not? Cockney now, angel. Yes. Yeah, a little cherub guy because he can't see his cockney. Uh, now all the types of the monsters in total control of the earth. Well, that's bad, right? This all came about because a demon they called Tanzara. Power who sealed the... Hmm. The one who sealed your power. Or to restore your power, you'll need to make the people... So basically, the world has decided to lose its faith. <laughs> Welcome, Zigman. I don't believe in gods. We'll show them how awesome they are. So, this game makes extensive use of Mode 7, which is awesome. You can move the Sky Palace. You know, it's like, oh, look at that, you know, that's great. We're going to start in Fillmore, because, you know, the beginning <laughs> is a good place to start. I wonder what Mode 7 feels like. I, w- <laughs> I wonder what it feels like to enter Mode 7. I'm sure it has good texture. Yes, Matt, we do need Delhi here. Where is he? There's no one that inhabits this people! <laughs> okay, so we're going to start here. And we're going to fight! Because, you know, we're not like a... We're a caring god, we're a firm god, but we also are a god that likes to have a couple uh, direct interactions to make things happen, you know? May luck god be likes- with you. God likes to put it in the bum. Yes, exactly. Now we're going to be entering mode 7, oh my god. And for those of you who are old school Screw Attack fans, this was the music you're hearing now is the intro that was played for side scrollers. Ah, oh, this music. And just check out the sound when you swing your sword. The sound power. Well, yeah, this was also like some of the video clips for side scrollers. Yes. Rah! Ha! Huh. Get an apple. Because, you know, apples are good. I don't think there's a single game in the world that doesn't have, like, the apple mean, like, you're going to get your health back or something good's going to happen. Now, the nice thing about this sword is the range on it is much further than what you would think. <laughs> Whale. Well. 
also believe this is on the virtual console for those of you who have a Wii. Please check it out if you do. It's eight dollars well spent. Buy any thorny things, never good. I'd say that guy's got wood. <laughs> Well, what am I supposed to say about a guy that's just... Make a, an obscure Wizard of Oz joke? I don't think a lot of people are gonna go for that. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. I was not gonna make, like, how would you like it if somebody came and picked apples off of you? But I like my apples right where they're at. Uh, I bet, I, baby, I thought they were melons. Eh. Eh? Yeah, but see, because of the fact that I used to be a teacher, I can always make the legit crack of, do you want to polish these apples? Oh! <laughs> teacher gets the apples. But I've also been told that a apple a day does keep the doctor away. This guy's like a train, he's like, I'm gonna move! Whoops. Now, you could just go down there and fight the boss, but why would you want to do that all the way? This game screams exploration. Even though the goal is still the same, it's the right side of the screen. Rah! It's boss time. Already? Wow. Yeah. And the thing that always freaked me out about this when I was a kid, it was like, Look at the size of that guy's health meter! It's massive! How am I supposed to fight that? Being clever, that's how. Listen to that thunder! Sound effect! Ah, oh, amazing. I can't listen to it because then it reverberates in through yours, and then people hear it <laughs> multiple times. Oh, you hear it till forever. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like the same thing, even though these games were released like several years apart. I got the same kind of anxiety the first time I played Mega Man X. I was like, There's no way I can beat that. That health bar's way too big. Victory! Now the thing is, you know, you're a little statue. You're, you're, you're. you're you, you possess the statue to do your bidding. And then when you leave, you exit the statue, you go back into the clouds. And this is where it becomes phase two of the game. Spit now, Tom's live stream, Tom about Kane's apples. Oh, that dude. That would be the most entertaining stream ever. <laughs> and then I get to hang out with my little naked angel friend here. Your cockney angel? Yes, my cockney angel. Sir Popo, Fillmore has become a land where people can live in peace. Our first duty is to protect these people from any monsters. It will do as instructed. Well, I would tell him to go jump off a cliff, but he's got wings, so he's just gonna fly, so... Uh, you, dude, Tom, you're ruining the effect. You're slipping out of the Cockney accent. Oh, you're I mean, Tom? there are several mysterious circles in which... <laughs> hey, Egag. Egag, hey yo. Egag, would you be so kind? Tweet this. I did. Let's Everybody else tweet this now. Yeah, yes, let's get some double digits in here. In Shelby Rue's memory. Because she's cur <laughs> currently she's on a boat. Oh, this is the thing that me and my stepbrother and my brother would just constantly make fun of. Every time the people need to speak to you, your little angel fry always sa says, Sir Popo, I know this is unexpected, but the people in Insert City here have something to tell you, and it would just, like, come to a screeching halt. You're, like, in the middle of cultivating the land, and then your worshippers have to interrupt you. It's like, my master will have difficult times building homes because there's so many bushes. They're so helpless. They can't even fashion an axe and cut these things down. Please burn the bushes and guide us as we begin to build our roads. <laughs> they want to see a burning bush. <laughs> Insert your own I'm joke sorry, here. I'm sorry, all I can think of is from Dave Chappelle. Really, uh, I've heard of, I've heard of trimming the hedge, but you done scorched the earth. <laughs> you scorched earth policy. <laughs> Zero scape. Really. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this game, you can also level up this little fella here too. You know, he's got his own health meter. The thing is, he really can't die when his health meter gets like depleted. It'll recover back on its own. But the thing is that. You can't shoot your arrows, so these little demons, they can actually go ahead and just totally level your city if you're not careful. So, you need to go ahead and be a good god and uh, perform some miracles. You can shoot lightning, you can cause rain, which can lead to a flood, you can give sun to, you know, help the crops grow or drive them out completely. Wind! Just blowing stuff off the screen or earthquake. 
be a real dick and just destroy everything. Destroys fields, rocks, houses, and bushes. Will you lose the lightning? Yes. Please show us where the lightning should strike. Now, here, see this rock right here? There's actually a magic spell in here. And the Trollolo Popo don't want me to have that magic spell. Yep, here nope. we go. <laughs> Listen to the Trollolo Popo. This is what happens when you stream on Friday night. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it, oh, yeah, it is a regular Friday night. Uh -huh. So Popo, destroying that big rock below the precipice has revealed something that may be very useful. Your people have something to say. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Our master token was found near the precipice in the southeast of here. We presented you as an offering. Please accept it. I don't want your crappy magic. And it's fire magic, which is good. It's going to come in handy in the next boss. And actually, my... You can now burn the bushes. Yes. Now, the, the funny thing is that me and my brother had played this game so much as kids that he preferred to go for Stardust magic, which is broken in a good way. But the funny thing is, he didn't even bother <laughs> to get that when he was when he was doing his playthrough, and I was giving him such crap. So like, you're gonna need that to fight the first boss. It's really hard if you don't have that. To the point where we got in a fist fight, and I stabbed him in the leg with a pencil, and he broke my nose. <laughs> well, that sucks. Yeah, but you know that's that's just kids being kids, doing stupid stuff. And of course he went to, proceeded to prove me wrong later on to actually go ahead and beat the boss without the magic after he got the boss from the house. <laughs> you know what, some people just want to watch the town burn. Watch these trees and bushes and everywhere. And this may seem really mundane, but we're actually doing something here. <laughs> oh. Out of special points. <laughs> And how do you get more special points? Kill some monsters. Kill all the monsters! Of course, at the same time, you know, direct these people to start building stuff <laughs> while I'm building up. See, they're going to work while I'm going to work, literally slaying dragons. That and things. Hey, over here, I have a farm, a little house. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I could be a real dick and just let like these guys on fire, but you know, we're not going to do that. We're going to spare them. Because I'm a kind and merciful god, most of the time. Depends on how much Guinness I've had to drink. Really? Merciful God? Maybe. Maybe not. I wonder if, I wonder if they can hear the... Oh! Stupid dragon. Killing my peoples. What is that I'm hearing, Kanan? <laughs> Did somebody get pulled over outside? <laughs> what was that? I don't know if anybody in the chat heard that or not. This guy... Cockney Craven, you're funny. What did he do? Uh, no, the tweet with my name in it. They can hunt animals now! Now they're not just gatherers, they're hunter-gatherers! <laughs> Please direct us to the monster's lair! It's like, that's so cute, they think they can fight them. See, and then, fam! <laughs> I know this is unexpected, but people are filming, I have something to tell you! Yeah, no, see, this is loud enough for them to hear. Mm. Yeah, but what were you playing? I don't even know what that was. <laughs> I'm hearing Psycho. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Popo's laugh. Okay. It's his malnourished. I, 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 I don't even know what to say. Or did you just hear the psycho music? I heard psycho and I heard someone laugh. I just didn't know what, what the crap's going on here. Again, you don't watch Dragon Ball Z Bridge, do you? Uh, no, I do not. 
Uh, I, I wasn't even aware there was an abridged until a couple months ago. Surface. I've been busy. There, there, there's no excuse for that. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Let's come back, Lion. Let's come back. Stupid nope. blue dragons, I hate you so much. Don't be hating on the blue dragons. They're like sent using ligantine and blowing up my worshippers' houses. That's not good. You're, you're just racist against blue dragons. Oh, pfft. Yes, racist against dragons, because you know that makes so much sense. Of course. All right, we're gonna go and seal a demon gate. Cause you know, <laughs> oh darn it, they're blowing up all my houses. No. <laughs> Look at them getting all busy and working and stuff. So industrious. Yeah, they're chasing a little horse down there. I guess they're trying to domesticate him. I don't know. Kervin asked, did you play My Life as a King? My Life as a King, um, for the Wii, I have not. I really wanted to, but it just kind of came out at a time in, um, my time at GameStop where I had so little free time because I was doing all the midnight releases. There was a lot of, um, that they didn't ask us to do, but I did anyway, and that really cuts into your personal life a lot, considering how many games were coming out. Um, but I do want to check that out. I heard they were going to, like, do another one on the PSP or something like that. Never got around to checking that out either. Or if it even came out. But the premise of it was, uh, pretty, was pretty awesome. There we go. Doing a seance. They're all getting in there. And then, I take your power. Infinite power! This is where, as a, as a god, you feel a little bit inadequate. Sir Popo, our people have sealed the monster layer's gate without our health. The civilization of Thelmore has seemed to have proved. That's fantastic. We're doing it on themselves. We're teaching them self-reliance. Well, if they didn't seal it, social Darwinism. Social Darwinism, there you go, yeah. Yes, I know, Kirby, they still have not patched the Silent Hill HD collection. That, you know, it's really funny, considering the immense amount of effort that went into the... <gasps> Look at that! Our population level has increased. I'm now at level 2. Anyway, as I was about to say, the immense amount of effort that went into the Metal Gear Solid HD collection, and the immense amount of effort that's going into the Zone of the Enders collection, I'm just shocked that Silent Hill got a rush job, based on what I've been hearing from you, various mm -hmm. review outlets, I mean... I'm genuinely surprised. I'm just getting depressed with the series as a whole. It's just like... Eh. Well, it's like they... It, after 2... I actually liked 3, thank you. Okay, well, I, I I never got a chance to play. That's about the time I got picked up by GameStop and I was trying to figure out what I was going to do to try to get my own store. See, look, nice little doggy out there. But, um... I was trying to figure out what in the world... um as a whole, the horror genre was trying to go in. And then you have Capcom pulling out, you know, the, the masterpiece that is Resident Evil 4. And I just don't know if anybody else figured out, what can we do differently? Because everything else just became so combat-focused after that, you know. Tom without a balance. Name tags. Huh? Tom wasn't on name tags. Oh my god, of what I wouldn't have given to make a cameo appearance. You guys don't even know how much I love that show. Yeah, Kriven, I, I wasn't too thrilled with uh, Silent Hill 4. Myself, personally, um, I know a lot of people don't like it, but I felt that Homecoming actually had good potential. But it's just, they're just like, we're going to prove ourselves, we're going to be awesome, yeah! And they just kind of went everywhere with it. Yep. Look at that, they did it again! People have sealed the layer without our help! Good time, lazy bastards. Yeah. Actually, funny story, Egag, I actually met Josh Niss, uh, the guy who played the store manager on Name Tags in 2009 and 2010 GameStop Managers Conference. Yeah, that was a real privilege. <laughs> he, he didn't fly Ninja Kick, did he? No, he didn't. I was actually in line to get Paul Dini's autograph because he was there to promote um, 
Arkham, uh, Arkham Asylum. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm standing in line because they were giving out the new issue of Game Informant that had the cover story on it. And um, <laughs> and then I see in line across from me, in line to get the uh, autographs and pictures with the uh, Andy McNamara of Game Informer, I see this guy that looks a lot like Josh, and I'm like, that can't be him. But that's when it hit me. Yes, it is him, because <laughs> of course they work for GameStop. Derp. So I shout, Josh! And he starts looking around. And then you know, I shout, Josh! And he sees me, and he and I wave him over, and he's like, do I know you? And it's like, I think I know you. Are you Josh from Name Tags? And his eyes just light up. It's like, you watch Name Tags. Yeah, it's like, you're at SGC. Of course you fucking watch mm -hmm. Name Tags. No, 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 no. Not SGC. SGC hadn't happened yet. <laughs> Uh, okay, I was gonna say, it's like, if you're at SGC, you don't know what name tags is, you deserve to be slapped and cunt punted. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That sounds dangerous. Yep. Pain. My master, we have developed a fishing trade here in Fillmore. A few days ago. Oops, I'm sorry, wrong voice. <laughs> Kriven, I, I can see that. He, he's, he was at Comic X in 2001 and he saw Patrick Norton. Oh my he, gosh. And then he freaked him out. Oh, um, there you go. I'm still excited though the fact that I got to talk and got hugged from Felicia Day. I am so jelly. Not even kidding. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Now sniff her hair. <laughs> Stroke it gingerly. I don't care, Mel. I still stand by my statement. If you're at SGC and you do not know what name tags is, you deserve to be slapped and contented. Yeah, because that was like at SGC09. Um, that was, uh... Oh, wait a minute. during the maintenance, during the maintenance, Craig's like, Here, watch name tags. Yeah, seriously. Pops the CD in, so all the new ones should have seen it. Yeah, seriously. And actually, you know what? SGC did happen before that. Yeah, okay, I got my timeline messed up, because that was the tail end of August. SGC was in July over Fourth of July weekend. 2009. Um, Mandia, I'm honestly, I don't know. Um, I misheard Tom. I thought he said he met Josh at SGC, and when he said, are you Josh from Name Tags, and Josh got all excited going, you've seen Name Tags? Like I said, I assumed that he was talking about SGC. I'm sitting going, you're at the Screw Tech Gaming Convention. Of course you know what Name Tags is. Yeah, that was the GameStop Managers Conference. I did meet um, the guy who played Paul on Name Tags, the angry customer and the pizza <laughs> delivery guy, John Brunish. He and I are, like, good buds now. Like, he had his little, I got recognized for something I did on the internet. Little did I not know about anything that Table 8 had done prior to that. Oh, yeah, Table 8 stuff is awesome. If you guys yeah. have not seen it, Table 8 is uh, the group that Jared worked with. And pretty much most Table 8 members are in name tags. Yeah, actually, Kanan, if you can go to the site right now and look up Danger Boy John and drop his profile in the chat. That's John's profile on Screw Attack. Um, he's also, he also did Rockumentary, which is fantastic, and Jared was in the first couple of episodes. I think he's like in three, maybe four episodes. I, I think he three. was in the first four. Yeah. Apparently he can play the drums in his sleep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's the name again? Uh, Danger Boy John. J-O-N. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure he's going to pretty much take everything that Table 8 has done on their YouTube channel and embed it on Screw Attack. Um, they also do the On a Budget series. They were featured on um, my least favorite site on the internet, Kotaku, uh, for uh, Avengers On a Budget, which is basically they did the entire Avengers trailer, but with like low budget effects, and it's excellent. Um, he uses Sony Vegas, and he does a great job with it. Um, there's also the game Underthinker. Um, you guys might remember that. They were a partner show for a while. Kevin, why'd you say hi, Jared? <laughs> most Man, people that were at Screw... Wait, wait, wait. Mo most people at SGC didn't even know what Screw Attack was. Oh, I guess they were like, hey, there's a convention in Dallas, let's go to it. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, we like conventions. What's this one? <laughs> Tech gaming convention. What's Screw Tech? Well, it's a porn site. You know, in order to get hired, you have to have really big dicks. 
fuck, I watched that the other night. Uh, giant, the- giant weens. Giant, giant dicks. Yes. <laughs> Is your crying off camera? Camera. Sorry. <laughs> oh, was that from the 24-hour marathon? Yeah, that pizza guy was honestly, he had to be like smoked out of his mind or something. Well, he, you know. He was, he was so fucking slow. JDJ 1990, welcome back to the big show. Congratulations, your level has increased. It's all about uh, cultivating the land. I feel bad. John only has three subscribers. I know, and I was one of them. <laughs> I know that. I see, I see you on his wall. Yep. You, you wall whore. <laughs> hey, I just want to let him know that they were there. I was hard for games for subscriber two. It's like, it's kind of a big deal. Now they can build bridges. They can cross rivers! Kriven, no offense with that banner, I wonder why you only have one subscriber. That banner's just creepy. Unbelievably creepy. Gives me nightmares. Not as badly as Chad's though, although he changed the background at least. You know what, I was wondering if Chad was ever gonna like put that old, like the first piece of fan art that was ever made for him up on his, up on his profile just to remind people where where his fandom started <laughs> it was a guy that like i started with this picture of chad and he just kind of went from there and it was like chad getting stabbed through the back with a katana wow yeah and it was wow. just like I, I i i would be concerned about my well-being too after seeing something like that <laughs> I I have 38 subscribers, and Chad's one of them! <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I know, that made my day. I was telling Mal earlier, I said, oh my god, I'm, like, knock on wood, I'm having the best day ever. He's like, why? I said, I finally got a call back for a job. Oh, I oh, have... that's right, you did tell me about that. Yes, I have an interview next week, so I was like, yeah! Everybody, are... please do the good luck dance for Kanan. Hey, I she... actually had the preliminary interview over the phone, so I was just like, yes! I'm so excited for that. And then, even though it's not the ideal job that I wanted, I'm crossing my fingers, though, because the one that I was looking at, the uh, the dentistry receptionist, they did email me back. They're like, well, we're just letting you know that we did get your resume. We do have, like, a... Your resume. 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 Anyway, <laughs> since you're going to be a dick about it... I didn't uh, know if you typed the accents. With... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll shut up now. Good boy. Thanks, Yag. But anyways, um... They said we did have an, uh, an influx of resumes sent in for uh, this position, so it will take at least a week or two to review them. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, the typical and, rigmarole. Yeah, but they said, you know, we will get back to you in a week to two weeks' time, so I'm really crossing my fingers that I get that one because that is pretty much a Monday through Friday job. Mm-hmm. I'll be off in the evenings, and it's $19 an hour. Nice! Yeah, th- that that means that Kanan will make Magnus for sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Help my master! Since the last layer has been sealed, something strange has been happening to me. I have the same nightmare every night. Oh no, he's caught in Groundhog's Day. Oh nice. Um. So yeah. Anyway, so I was all excited for that, and then I had a message on my phone. It's like. It's like, Chad has commented on your post. It's like the uh, the helpful tips for After Dark. So he's like, yeah, this is really awesome. I'm sure this has helped out a lot of you once. Thank you. I'm like, aw, thank you, Chad. And then he subscribed to me. I was like, aw. It's like, my day just got incredibly better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then my sister bought me those giant ass pieces of pizza. If you did not see those pictures on Twitter, the, the, those were monstrous pizzas. This guy's but having she's... nightmares. He's getting affected by his nightmares. Heaven forbid. This is like the premise for like a really bad like jump scare horror movie where the psychiatrist doesn't believe him. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, Phantom X death, Craig forgot me. Craig forgot Ken in that. Oh, yeah. The one that set yeah, up the controllers. No, I, 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 was, I was actually saying that to Mal earlier today. He and I had a good laugh over that. I said, it was fucking funny because Craig's like, Scotty dating who? Kanan. Who? Kelly. Who? She's on Twitter all the time. She's been a G1 for a while. Uh-huh. She sent us those controllers. Oh! <laughs> And then I said to Mal, I said, I think Sam was enjoying the fact that uh, Craig was just, you know, off on that one. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> then Sam's like, oh, Kanan's sad. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. Sad in pants. you once. No, I didn't say sad in pants. You should. I should have. No I'll say that for tonight. Okay, there you go. There we go. 
you hate living in Ohio, there's no gaming conventions anywhere near me. Where are you at, Egag? Are you like in Columbus or something like that? Because I got a friend out in Athens, and he has to drive everywhere to go to anywhere cool, too. Craig said he loved you, Riven. I don't know about that. You're in the Northwest? Oh, you're in the worst part of Ohio, man. Air quotes, technically Craig did, but it was more of a confused thing because, you know, Kriven's been trolling them on the Xbox 360, and he went, I hurt you, Craig, and Craig's like, I hurt you too? Now, this may look like a dick move that I'm about to do here, cause an earthquake, but it's actually... <laughs> this is Darwinism in action. Oh, I don't have enough magic to do it. <laughs> you see, your power as a god gets stronger by the number of followers that you have. By leveling these houses, these huts over here. You're the, leveling your house? <laughs> yes, because you see on the other side of the screen, you've got more modern houses, you know, like Victorian area, and like you got like cabins here, and then you got like huts and wigwams over here, you know. I was just sitting there going, Shire has been upgraded to Brick House. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shire! Baggins! Oh, weird boner. <laughs> I have the weirdest boner right now. Right. Now, here's the cool thing about this game is you can save at any point, which is good. Turn the speed up on that because it's really annoying. Status of master. Status of city. Look at that. Oh, we just missed it. 668. That would have been funny. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. Here, at level 4, mm, not bad. Save! Boom! Okay. I'm gonna return back to the Sky Palace. We're going to... We're gonna go fight some more monsters. We're gonna go and take out the boss of this place. We're gonna go and level this place and we're gonna make it safe for all the followers! Entering mode 7. You feel that texture cannon? Mm. <laughs> awesome. Get ready for some more sweet music if you're watching this live. Except for me, I have to have it on mute. I wish there was a way to fix that. Seriously, that's like one of the strongest suits. Well, running game by Quintet. The th well, the, th the thing is, um, like, whenever you or Shelby stream, obviously I have to uh, mute the stream. Yeah, I do too. Like, especially with Cthulhu, because Cthulhu's music is so awesome too. Yeah, but it gives an echo. But whereas, for some reason, however Shelby's doing it, I can hear it through her end. But for some reason... Yeah, I don't know what she's doing that's allowing that. I like to um, do that for... She might have a headset like mine, where you can hear what I'm hearing. Oh, maybe, because, like, what I'm using has its own mix amp that comes with it. These, like, the, the headphones themselves are, like, almost, like, studio quality, so... Like, what you would find at, like, a radio station. Oh, 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 oh. I like how people are starting to, like, send me tweets, like... Because I made the comment going, I'm very, very excited for Bro Jared to, you know, take first place tonight on After Dark. So, of course, everybody's just like... Nope, nope, Team Chad, blah, 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 blah. And, Denver! Uh, one second. Flying Glass said, I don't know about that. I believe Screw Tag Chad will finally have his due. After all, he has the power of baby on his side. And uh, my reply was, Popping a baby does not earn you first. It earns you lack of sleep and fudged huggies. Oh. <laughs> and you know what I just realized I did? You fudged your huggies? No, I <laughs> entered this dungeon without equipping the magic that I found. Oh, man, I'm halfway tempted to just, like, reset and not fight the boss without it. Man. Too late! I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Balls to the wall. Yeah, I'm gonna, you know what, like... Driven <laughs> top shit his pants. Yes, you didn't deny the, the wearing of Huggies. You're just like, no! <laughs> Dang it. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh, well. My brother can do it all those years ago, I can too, so... Away we go. Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> oh dear. Annie, go get your gun. 
in the very unlikely event that I get a game over, I can do it then too. But you now what we're gonna we're gonna try to avoid that. Yeah, you know, this is, uh, you know, with uh, After Dark going on tonight, folks, this is going to be interesting to see if Sam can bring it in three times, because it's kind of like Iron Man of Gaming. There's, you know, there's never been multiple winners, and yet Sam's won two times in a row so far. Honestly, Igig, I don't know how to help you, because I don't run XSplit. Um, he's stating that every time he, like, he's downloaded the free version, every time he opens it up, it crashes the program, and yes, Pro Jared for the win, Andy. Um, probably we want to check your system requirements, Egag. Because that could be it, because you're basically trying to run everything that's going on through your computer, and usually the better requirements you have well, the better system you have, you're, you know, the better off the stream is going to be as a whole. Damn it. And every mistake you're seeing, that's me. You know, that's not the controls. The controls in this are great. If I screw up, it really is my own fault. You know, this isn't like Predator when you play and you get lurched forward for no apparent reason. I had like a sick fascination with that game. Bad and Nightmare on Elm Street. Like games that are like usually have a pretty bad rap. Now, Predator I can understand completely because it's a game based on a movie license that has pretty bad controls. Nightmare on Elm Street, on the other hand, uh oh, boss time. Nightmare on Elm Street, on the other hand, has pretty decent controls and it's kind of like Rare's beginning of their collectathon style games. Freaking Minotaur, I'll tell you what. Damn it. Can't tell I'm downloading too much poor and leggy shit. Oh, is it lagging out? Not on my end. Okay. Ah! That's for you, Anthony Joseph Harvey. Okay. That's my brother. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, Leet Lauren has a new profile picture of her holding a donut. Take that for what that is. Nice. Cliff Blazinski is a very lucky man. <laughs> Huh? Oh, that's uh, Cliff Blazinski. That's his uh, his girlfriend, well, fiance now. So, Popo, I know it's a bit unexpected, but the people in Fillmore have something to tell you. Master, Fillmore is now rid of all monsters, and my husband's gone missing. He was the Minotaur. Sadly, one person was affected by the monster's curse and just passed away. Oh, drat! You don't keep the faith. This is what happens. Cliffy B Wait, sucks. Cribbin, you suck. Wait, I should put on. you in timeout blood, for that. Blood. Hold on. What? Dilly, I have told you to go and watch Mario Party After Dark in the archives. For shame, sir. He hasn't? Mel just said, poor, poor Dell, having to explain what the whole Mario Party After Dark is about. Mm. Right before he... Um, yeah. Right before he passed away, he heard that he said, might finally be able to be some help to the people of Fillmore. With the elimination of the monster, we can now control the town ourselves. Are you rejecting me? Are you rejecting me? <laughs> so please visit the other lands and make them as peaceful as our town, Fillymore. Praise me. Yay. <laughs> Praise me. Now get on your knees. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yes. Absolutely, yes. Full of win. <laughs> so now, we've done. Your God needs worship now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where is your god now? We're gonna save. <laughs> oh, baby, oh, baby. Play the game, what's in my mouth? <laughs> Oops. I think I'm being taken back to the title screen. A short rest, and we will now result in a splendid land of tomorrow. I don't know what's going on here. I'm confused by Mal's statement. You have great hits like Sam and Jared fighting over Kaven's endgame praise. <laughs> and then while you're <laughs> down there... Yeah. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> I am too. I'm so confused. Oh, I'm going to hit reset. Because <laughs> I don't know what's going on. 
Well, it's a short rest, so... Don't know what they meant by that. Oh my god! Continue... Welcome back, Sir Popo! Did you get a sufficient rest? Oh, I guess that was unintentional. Wow, seriously? You have to reset your game? That's pretty nuts. Okay... Select magic, there we go. What? Now I'm upset because that part of the video got cut. <laughs> it was just like the whole thing with Predator. I don't know what it is with Twitch. Twitch is just like, hmm, I'm gonna eat you, I'm gonna eat you, I'm gonna eat you, fuck you, you're not on the diet. Oh, whoops. Apparently there were a lot of offerings that were there that I forgot to take. So I've been working without the strength of the angel, a bomb, a bridge, source of magic, two sources of magic, and magical fire. Go me. I am the worst best god ever. <laughs> obey, uh, obey best worst advice. <laughs> Finds offerings does not take. Oh, Acquire no. followers reject <laughs> offerings. On a side note, at least you get a blowjob out of the deal. <laughs> That's fantastic. I hope she was good. Well, if you're like, I hope she was good. Obviously she wasn't that good if you don't remember. <laughs> That's sad. Yeah. Which is always like, I was like, did you ever get one in your sleep? I'm like, no, I would want to be awake for that. <laughs> hey, JDJ, 1990, scumbag god. Scumbag god. <laughs> hey, wow. hey, worshippers, can I have everything? <laughs> We're going to go to Bloodpool. I wonder why they got that name. Oh, I've got new shoes. I did get new shoes. I got all the shoes. Yeah, Time to go fight cool. monsters. But, but, but first, I will select magic. Magical fire, yes. So you've decided to take magical fire with this magic? Uh, yes. <laughs> Sir Popo, if we destroy the monsters in this land, the people will be able to live there again. Gee, that sounds like what you said in the first area. Heavy <laughs> flow days in good old blood pool. Oh, Kriven. Entering mode 7. Mm, feels good. Always like it's always around like this stone henge looking kind of a deal. Oh, that music. Check that out. And this part kind of always reminds me of, like, Ghosts and Goblins. Super Ghouls and Ghosts, like, right in the beginning of the ghost ship. This is the music that Craig describes as, like, ass-kicking music. I just want to get up and just bust some heads. I'm so angry. Those logs, they tricked me. They don't float. Logs floating, there you go, make your own jokes. Ah. Wait a minute, wait a minute, he just defied gravity, look at that. Ugh. Ugh. Like, uh, he's staying in the high air. Oh dear. Moon! Moon! I just did it, like, ugh, jump. You stay off the ground for the duration of the time of the jump, not the ceiling. Interesting physics there, Quintet. <laughs> Wait, you're God, you made physics. I do what I want! Oh, God! What did I do? Oh. Shira just done tweeted. Shira just done tweeted something about me. Busy, I'm fighting. No! Oh! Death counter one. Ready? Fight! Fuck. Just watch that little statue. There's gonna be like something stupid, like points or something like that. You know, seriously, by the time the Super Nintendo got around, you think like. By the time the Super Nintendo came around with the ability to save your progress, unless the points really led to you getting an extra life, they really don't serve a purpose. So I was wondering why they even were in, in this game. You're taking care of a beehive problem. A beehive problem. I don't want to know. Unless if he's talking about getting someone a haircut. Oh, crap. Save myself. Skill. Burn, baby! Oh, what up? Really? Thomas from the 1950s. 
Yeah, I'm stuck back there. Living in the past. You got a problem with that? Who wouldn't want to live back in the era of happy days? And all the Cold War paranoia of Senator McCarthy and his witch hunts. You just go to school and say, you know, people you don't like, hey, you're a communist. I don't like you. Tom, did you come back to give me a sports almanac? <laughs> Death count three. Uh, yes, I went and came. <laughs> Gray's sports yes. almanac, yeah. Oh, dear. So, Iga, do you have two Twitter accounts now? Twitter machine? Wait a minute, did the extra life come back? That might be worth the trouble if that's the case. Rah, swing! Oh, it totally does, that's fantastic. Except your magic doesn't come back out, you die, so you really gotta be smart. Is it to Pier 7? What, are you taking, like, a shot for every, like, time I die or something? Or is he just getting prepared for the chaos that is going to ensue in one hour and 23 minutes? Uh, I think he, he's uh, getting his troll drinking in so he can go and agitate Jared during After Dark and hit on Sam. Ew! He's just filling the empty hole in his soul. Hole in the soul. Mother effort. Now I has no magic. <laughs> but that's okay, because the extra life keeps coming back. <laughs> Folks, I apologize for making silly amateur mistakes, but it's probably been at least 15 years since I've played this last, so... I'm trying to remember all the patterns. Oh! Oh, that's too bad, Sir Popo. I know you'll never give up. Gallant I return! I don't know if I want to see that Kriven. Oh, no. You're gonna so Photoshop I'm Sam as a centaur? This can only end badly. Already. Burn! Burn to the ground! <laughs> oh, dear. You need to get your equipment shipped? Why are you romantically carrying your equipment? That's been, like, the big thing in, like, fanfics these days. Like, I ship Doctor Who with some chick from Alias. I don't know. I'm like, what the crap? What does ship mean? Like, it means romantic pairing. Like, okay, whatever. Have fun with that. All those on uh, the Pony Confession Tumblr blog, one of the best ones I ever saw was, um, I don't like shipping ponies because they always look sad when I tape them in the box. Wow. It just has like a picture of like Philly Rainbow Dash with like the big wide eyes like smiling in a cardboard box. I'm like, that's not fair, you're using that picture from My Little Dashie, how dare you. It's like sacrilege. Get the one up. Don't die. Ugh. Fail. Moon! <laughs> You're the source of all my problems right now. <laughs> what in Popo's name are you talking about, Tom? <laughs> you know, I did think it's funny that we landed in a, uh, a stone circlet that was a good distance away from the, the lake that is Blood Pool, and yet we're fighting on Blood Pool. I just made that observation right now after having this game for... <laughs> Well, the copy that I played was a friend, but the copy that I own now just made me realize how silly that is. It's like, hmm, someone wasn't paying super close attention. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Bad luck, Tom. Goes for boss, lands in water. <laughs> Bad luck, Tom. Possess a statue. Cannot swim. Oh, F you. Freaking monster thing. I hate you so much. Yeah, Give me that one up. Get a point there. It's like, isn't it funny how Nintendo would bring, uh, wouldn't bring Devil's World here and has a big stance on religious shit in games, but act raise your, your god. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a great point. You know, funny story. Devil it's World actually... 
It's a funny story. Um, Devil's World actually got a PAL territory release. I'm actually in the process of tracking one down because I have an NES top loader and that will play on it. So I'm very interested in playing it because I... Who did I see the review for it on? It was really, really well thought. Oh, it was Pat the NES Punk. That's who it was. And I, he was playing the Famicom version. Urban says it's not a very good game. It isn't? I was just interested in playing it because it had a lot of the sprites from um, Zelda in it. <laughs> Tom, you will burn to the ground! Burn! Burn! Burn to the ground! F. Waiting too long on that jump. It's doing it every time. And I'm out without magic again, so good times. <gasps> Jump. Now, at some point, I do have Act Razor 2, which I remember being covered extensively in uh, Nintendo Power. I didn't get that one until much after the fact, but it skips out all the role playing in favor of this part, but you know what? That's okay because the statues you possess in that one have wings, so you can fly. <laughs> and dive around, it's awesome. Just never understood why Quintet never got around to making a, a third one. Oh, that's mean, he jumps to the other side of the room. <laughs> Terrible. I hope we get past this, because this wouldn't getting to be a little... T to quote Josh, you're sucking. Stop, Stop sucking! sucking. <laughs> yeah. It'd be a whole lot easier if I actually had that Stardust magic, but you know what? I don't. I don't even have any regular magic because I've done used it all at the wrong time. And he's gonna jump over there. So he jumps across and Have you ever played Ninja Gun on the NES? If so, how far did you get? Um I have played it, I just cannot remember where I got that game. I got up to I think level three. Cause I kinda started playing it on a whim recently at a friend's house. And then I know I definitely did not get that far when I was a kid. Um, I actually played Ninja Gaiden 2 before I played Ninja Gaiden, just because I play crap out of order like that. It, I, it was I was at my friend Cody Freer's house, and he had borrowed it from a mutual friend, Jeremy Arnold, I want to say. Just blew my mind when you could get that little um, thing that would make the little ghost for you that would follow you around. I always thought that was awesome. You little bastard. Oh, no, you don't. You're, no! <laughs> got part two for... Kriven got it for his uh, 10th birthday. That Did was he a really? badass birthday. That is a badass birthday. Dress up as ninjas and stuff. <laughs> That'd be, like, the, the best way to, like, celebrate that when you're a kid. Yeah, I got ninjas to come to my birthday party. It was so awesome. <laughs> you ever have, like, one of those birthday parties when you're a kid, like, where everything was, like, themed after something like that, and they would have, like, somebody show up in a costume? Nope. Oh man, best. Victory after I lost count on the death count. What am I up to? 12? 18? Took you long enough. Did it really? Enough as in too long, as in 15 minutes too long. Make a fun death reel for sure. And then I created two more people to inbreed with. <laughs> Yeah. See, this is where the whole, like, diffusionist theory <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> Let us work towards peace! <laughs> I know it's unexpected. Do this dry up the water of our marshlands. Well, I'll go do that. How about you guys start building over here? Yeah, you're, you're talking about the inbreeding, and all I can think of is that old Fiji Cats comic with the, uh, the inbred chocobos. Oh, God. 
Have sex, damn it! Uh... <laughs> Use all the miracles! Haha, <laughs> you got hit by lightning. Stupid bat. Oh, red devil. I wonder if there's a yellow devil Mega Man reference for those of you who don't know. Now, is it rain? You use rain here? I'm trying to remember, there was, like, use a miracle. I'm pretty sure it's rain. Hold on. To play uh, Lunar Silver Star Story. Um, I would do that. Oh, there you go. There it is. That's where you use the miracle. Um, what did you find me? Cause the lake to rise, and the rising water reach this strange jewel found in the lake shore. Please accept that as an offering. Hey, guess what I'm going to do this time? I'm going to accept the offering. Good for you. Because, you know, you'd think that would be automatic, but, you know... Oh, Source of Life. Excellent. Yes, I will gladly take Source of Life. And which the is... John. Yeah! <laughs> Damn right. I could use one right now. Did I say that out loud? Yes. Oh, and well. recorded for the internet. Forever. What, what red-blooded American or warm-blooded Canadian wouldn't want one? Ah, oh, Crimin. Choir Boys? <laughs> He's gone. Oh. <laughs> it's about my oldest son, Teddy. We're worried that, uh, Curious Energy might have got him into trouble. Oh, no. Talking of Curious Energy. Oh, Teddy. Did you just send one person? I'm gonna build a house. Build that house. Smash that tree. Smash that tree. Kerbin, I should stream while I'm shit-faced sometime. Somehow I don't think that would work very well. It would work very well for me. I don't know if, like, that would... Oh no, they're making away with my... They took the whole town. They took the whole town? Yeah, did you see that? The, the one bad just totally took everything. Wow. He was like the repo man. Did you see that? That was nuts. Jesus. Exactly! <laughs> I'm pretty sure Jesus is not the Repo Man. Is he the Tax Man? Maybe. Because he's the Tax Man. Because these people just think that, oh, we're going to stop building. Because we're derps like that. You'd never stop building. You stop building and the Black Bat will come and take you and devour your soul. There you they go. will let them, because I'm a spiteful, vengeful god. Ooh, cookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> give, me that give me that sacrificial cookie. What the hell, Kermit? I'd nail you to the cross for that, Tom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> go for it. I dare you. Y you gotta catch him first. Yeah, I'm all the way over here. I don't even know where you are. I know we're... Oh, so you like hear a tap on your window. It's like nails coming down on the glass. Oh <laughs> dear. <laughs> Iron Man, come out to play! <laughs> I actually have some glass Coke bottles. I should have gotten those. For that. That'd have been funnier. <laughs> I know where you live, Tom. Oh dear. Population 950. Only 950? Come on, people! Fuck more! Yeah, seriously. F your brains out. I'm gonna use the sun miracle and dry up the marshlands. Make it easier to identify the bodies when a plane crashes here. And... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> It'll be like an interesting crossover between, like, SimCity and this. Kerman's like, I'm next door. That would be... You know how actually fucking creepy that would be? Like, creepy? Well, if we take Kribben out of the formula. Maybe cool. <laughs> no, well, yeah, it's <laughs> like... Let me finish. It's just like, if you're, like, talking to this G1 on the chat and all this, you're like, yeah, 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 and then all of a sudden you're just like, they're your next door neighbor. Kribben. <laughs> God damn it, Kelly. Aww. <laughs> Come on, Krimin, you know for a fact that if you lived next door to Tom, you would troll the shit out of him. Yeah, that's not cool. 
Uh, yeah, please don't. See, I like how it likes to remind you at the top of the screen, it says, This is the sim part of the game, like, you don't say. If the milk turns out to be sour, I ain't the kind of pussy to drink it. You know what I mean? Yeah, these people don't know how to build bridges. How about that? Print pictures yeah. of dicks and tape them to windows. Criven, that's terrible. <laughs> Who likes cock? Cock smoking clerks. Hey! <laughs> that's right. Now that's on the internet for all to hear. I've said it before. I've said it in Shelby Street. Penises are delightful. Except for when they haven't been watched in a while. Then that shit's just nasty. I... I can only imagine. Why are they sad? What's going on here? Let it. I'm listening. Teddy ran away from home. Can't find him. He's very hungry by now. And that loaf of bread. Oh, there's Timmy. Timmy! What are you doing? Down the well again. Yeah. Oh no, the angels. The angel power is gone. I think it's like Telfana, Ige, something along those lines. I would have paid though to see like when when, ta or when Chad was talking about like the <laughs> God mode. Here's your God mode. Click. Oh. It's fucking hilarious to see. Like. See <laughs> And I have to laugh, because both Chad and Jared, like, state, we're not competitive people. We like to just, you know, we like co-op stuff. And you see them, and they're the crudest little fuckers on Mario Party going. I'm sort of going, non-competitive, huh? Yeah, really. What will Teddy think when he sees this bread of his mother had baked for him? Teddy's like, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> oh, the people of Bloodpool like to interrupt me again. Teddy's back home. Yay! The loaf of bread reminded me of a home and he calls him to return. Exactly, you get competitive, my butt. Yeah, seriously. Remember that old clip of the week? Uh, competitive co-op? Oh my gosh. They were brutal to each other. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, Chad, kick. I still, speaking of clip of the week, they still have not posted last week's clip of the week, and they did film one. Because remember when the, like, they were switching off because, aside from trying to get the site back up going, they were just like, I think it was, what, Sean for the longest time? And he's like, yeah, I wasn't needed for the clip of the week. And everybody else is busy. So, <laughs> hi. Well then. Magic Skull. Magic Skull, really? He can destroy a monster's lair. Please use it on a lair that we can't seal. Take some weight. Sounds like one of my... The last Paul Yorick, I knew him well. Yeah. Now, seal some shit. I'm trying to direct them towards the south. Oh, wait a minute. You know what it is? It's going to be this one that they can't reach down here because they're not going to be able to build a, a road to get to it. Level these trees. Burn, burn, burn to the ground! Follower. You has new follower? Yes. Nice. I just no clue who they are, but yay, new follower. Magic Skull, get out of here. Stupid red demons, I hate you so much. By the power of Grayskull. Oh, man. Okay, He-Man or She-Ra? She-Ra? Yeah, me too. Well, it's like... I just, uh, like, even my little five-year-old brain was like, this is incredibly progressive, I will watch this. Exactly, like, a lot of people actually admit that even though they do like He-Man, they like She-Ra better because She-Ra actually had, like, more, like, story development. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, She-Ra's sword could turn into shit. Yeah. Hyper combo. Like, you know, Vicky! Welcome sword, to the big show. Sword to lasso. Yeah. Sword to shield. And she could communicate with animals. And she could heal. That was the other cool thing. Yep. she had the power to actually heal. Yeah, it's like more definitely thought out. Magical yeah, exactly. Stardust. Baby, this is the magic. This Once you get this, it's done. You don't need anything else for the rest of the game. <laughs> sure, I took care of the damn beehive. <laughs> Shiro, please elaborate on what this beehive was. <laughs> And Scott Fox also is here. He says hi. Well, hey. Hey. hey, Scott Fox. That's awesome. Eleven people. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're getting up there. 
Come on, I want to get up to like 160 magic so I can go back to my first town and sh shake it I to like the ground. Oh, man. Caden's Twitter peen plus one. Yeah. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Whoa. What? Feminine rule 63, Peter Griffin. Do not want. <laughs> Strangest boner or boner killer? And deflated like a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Little Timmy's playing what? with his dog. <laughs> Timmy's pronouncing well again. I don't think Lassie gives two fucks no more. Yes, yeah, seriously. Help, help, I fell down the well. My name's Timmy <laughs> O'Toole. Honestly, I'm pretty sure at this point, like, Lassie has straddled the well and pissed down the well in Timmy's face. That, you know, that'd be great. That would be so great. I would pay rap dollars to see that happen. <laughs> Malice, strangest boner killer. <laughs> okay, that, that works. So, folks, for those of you who are in the chat that actually have posted videos on Screw Attack, what do you think about, like, we need an official community intro outro kind of like how screw attack has their official intro outro like made by the community contact nearman oh well nearman does music unless did he unless he does like graphic design too have him and revulsive collaborate oh there we go that would work you just be like two amazing artists in their own field create the most beautiful bastard baby you've ever seen. The G1 community intro outro. Fant oh yeah, Phantom Mank would be awesome too. Yes, he would be. Because, you know, I'm Although, pretty sure it's all safe to say that whenever we think of good uh, Hello Winter, Goodbye Summer, we all think of Pro Review. <laughs> that was actually one of the coolest things he ever did. Like, when he would leave his channel running, like, 20, 30 minutes before, like, the actual stream would start, and, and then you would, play. and then he would play that, like, to let you know that the stream was starting. <laughs> like, he was actually going to actually, like, start playing in a minute or so. Nice. Think of it like the green kind room. Of, or kind of like how screwing around, when they, like, they'll, yeah. when they go yeah. live, they'll play music. Yeah, and yeah. And the end, they let it play a bit of music. Yeah, like, um, on uh, is, Zelda though, Wednesday, uh, for example. Yeah, in regards to Phantom Mank, though, it would be nice to have Nier Man, because Nier Man's actually, like, a G1. I don't know if Phantom Mank is a G1. Yeah, he so is. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't know. Have the two of them work together, that'd be brilliant. There you go. So, wait, it'll be, like, we're also Phantom Mank and Nier Man. It's like, oh my god, it's like a beautiful orgy. <laughs> if, if you're into that. Oh, boy. I, Hell yes. Uh... You have fun with that, then. I will. Me and my camcorder will enjoy that oh, evening. <laughs> do not want... <laughs> yes, nerdgasm. <laughs> I love the fact that I am totally killing any boner that Tom has. Yeah, seriously, you're really good at inflating them, and now tonight you're just deflating them, because I'm on the internet. Yep. Good job. <laughs> no. I'd pat myself on the back, but I can use my hand for other things. <laughs> paf, 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 paf. <laughs> or is it fat? Is it, is it, is fat gone to the point where it's non-gender specific? <laughs> I would say non-gender specific. Okay, then fat it is. <sighs> my master, we have finally finished a road connecting to our neighboring town, Philemore. Now you can teach us how to produce wheat. Yay, they can fuck people other than their own cousins. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> seriously, yes. that's what we're talking about in, in um, history class now, in, um, in, uh, at the college that I'm going to, mm -hmm. that um, in world history, we touched upon the Bering Strait Theory, which, you know, I, for the longest time, regarded as, like, the best thing going for it, until, like, we really broke it down on, like, how impossible it really is for it to have worked. Um <laughs> To... under construction. Yes, they're meeting halfway for sex. Yes, exactly. It's at the halfway house. How did you know? <laughs> oh, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, you know, it's just like, if that really happened, the sheer amount of inbreeding that would have eventually would have come to pass I'm like, well, not a good thing. <laughs> at Tommy, I hear, man. And you expect dirty stuff like this and much worse from Kane when, we, when you've been friends with her for as long as I have? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
where are the help hookers in this game? Well, those come later, you know, after they reject me. Yeah, I still like that. This lady gives, it's like, gives you special care. What does she do in there? <laughs> I cannot wait for Brent CD to ship because that, like, the, the Zelda 2 with lyrics sounds fucking amazing. Dude, Zelda 2 just in general is amazing. Him adding oh, work to it on top of that is just incredible. The thing that I remember the most about Zelda 2 is the music. Yeah, it's really good music. Like, imagine my sheer joy and delight when um, the GameCube was coming out at the Walmart that I was working at it um, part-time. Um, when they got it in there, Smash Brothers was on the demo disc. So you go and play Smash Brothers, and one of the two levels that was playable was the temple. Imagine my sheer joy when the music from Zelda 2 comes on for the palace. I'm like, oh my god. It's a fantastically awesome remix of that song. Take the offering! What are you offering? Da bomb! Give me some wheat. Produce the wheat. Where are the health hookers in this game? <laughs> Seven minutes. Yes. We'll probably go and cut out quarter till, ten till, depending on... I'd say, actually, you might want to cut out half an hour beforehand so we can all get in there, because they already stated you should get into the Twitch chat early and all that fun stuff. I go to Twitch itself, I don't go to the site because it crashed. <laughs> but then again, you guys can choose your favorite method of being able to watch. I wonder if they'll do it on Ustream and YouTube as well. Maybe. You know, it would make perfect sense to help Help the brand. There's difference between research experiment and more. Oh boy. Yeah, sure. I do agree that Zelda games deserve remakes. Are Zelda 2 and Link's Awakening? Um. I played the legendarily amount of crap out of Link's Awakening. The only game on the Game Boy that I played more than that was um, Final Fantasy Adventure. I mean, you guys just don't know how much I played this back in the day. Final uh, Fantasy Adventure? Yeah. <laughs> I... so much of that. Open second window with screw attack and Twitch on the mod. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what I got going on over here where Tweet Deck is. Yeah, you, you two can, uh, can go fuck your couch. <laughs> fuck your couch, Gramer! Fuck your couch, Gramer! Buy another one, you rich motherfucker! <laughs> fuck your couch, Gramer! Fuck your couch! You having fun? <laughs> well, lots of fun. Because I was been trying to like figure out a better word to use now than the original one. Because you know the original yeah. one's really not that nice. No. Oh, what's the matter, Katie? Gee, no wonder, Mal. Maybe it's the fact that I have a shitty ass laptop. That if I probably even tried to open another Twitch thing, it would fucking crash this computer. Well, that's sad, isn't it? Yes, I've seen the Robocop picture, Shiro. What Robocop picture? Tom apparently has not. It better be a good one. I hate it when Murphy gets misrepresented. Link it in the chat, Shiro. Wheat for all the villagers. The Battleship movie, I think, is um, a terrible idea, and I really think it was Michael Bay getting roped into... Wait a minute, who did the... Okay, it was Paramount. Okay, so I think Paramount got the license to do Transformers from Hasbro on the condition that they had to make a film based on one of their board game licenses. And Battleship was probably the one they felt that would be the best to do it. <laughs> Seriously? Well, you know, it just seems like that kind of thing. Like, for instance, look at Telltale Games and what they did with Back to the Future. Phenomenal game. And then they released a stinker of a game that is Jurassic Park. I really think Universal said, we'll give you the license to make a Back to the Future game, but you need to make this game along with it because we haven't done anything with that property for a while. 
Telltale's not the kind of company to just go and do a half-hearted attempt unless they're looking at something bigger. And I really think that's what it was. On a side note, <laughs> you know the, uh, the, the the damn you autocorrect mm-hmm. it says girlfriend's awesome dad. <laughs> he goes, hey babe, wanna come over so I can bang you all night? Oh <laughs> no. And it's like, this is Kayla's dad. I'll tell her that you want her to spend the night. Do you have condoms? Is she on birth control? He's like, awkward question. Well, never mind. I'll just put a few condoms in her front pocket of her bag. You'll know where they are. Even more awkward. The guy actually tweets that back? Yes. Idiot. <laughs> Good God. I forgot how the AFK gets sassy. AFK. I- I'm assuming that just... Get up, big be- sexy. Sexy, not big sexy. Oh, whatever. Get up, too sexy. I was gonna say, Kermit had AFK get sassy. I'm assuming that consists of him stripping down to nothing and then rolling in a bed full of glitter. Oh, 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 oh. oh look, they all have weed already. Fantastic. No, no, sexy Natalie is not back. Really? That's sad. Uh, no, that that's the fucking troll that's been on Screw Attack like all this week. Oh, see, like I said, I don't, I don't, um. Yeah. Um, Hang out in the chat. Let's see somebody start. just kept, like, putting in porn. And it was sexy, Natalie. Oh. Was it sexy porn? I didn't click on it. It's too bad. Yes, because I'm sure you would like to know the fact that I look at female porn. Yes. Move one square over for the love of Pete. Connect the road. <laughs> My OCD is going crazy right now. Ugh. Not as much as the fact that you can't build anything down here. Yeah, Twitter seems to be acting up all today. Mm, it seems fine to me so far. Yeah, Tweet Deck yeah. sometimes just times out for some reason. Alright, I'm gonna go fight a boss. No. You're not quitting, are you? No, of course not. Oh, short. Dang, got it. I did it again. I don't want to take a short rest. I don't want a nap. <sighs> Reset. Because <laughs> evidently I, I have. This box. Yeah. Your Starfire. Yeah, I don't want to forget Stardust. You know that's the key to success from here on out. Yes, I did have a sufficient rest, the whole 15 seconds of it. No, oh, it's like, you know, the Inatron did <laughs> just her. He's back to fuck your couch. Nice, Shiro. F your couch! No, click, click on the, uh, the link. <laughs> okay, that's great. Yeah, Murphy. F all the couches. Seriously, man, you don't even know. Robocop's just awesome. I mean, like, it's, like, the whole premise of it is really, really dark and awful, but everything behind that, you know, the whole big redemption story, that's very inspiring. Time to go mess some people up. Now, the thing about this magic that you have... It shoots stuff down from a 45 degree angle on the upper right hand corner of the screen, so if you really want to mess the boss up, just get them up in that corner and they just die. Okay. Um, EGA, the reason why there's so many people in chat is they've been asking since the second so, party, yeah. party for people to actually start getting in there like half an hour to hour beforehand, because when everybody tries to hop on all at the same time, it can't deal with the congestion and the traffic, so sometimes it actually crashes. Now this was on ScrewTech itself. We don't know if, oops, if that would be the same problem on Twitch, because Twitch usually has tens of thousands of people watching at once sometimes, especially with all the action they've been doing with League of Legends. Also, one thing that's also interesting to note, there's uh, a timer. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense why there's a timer on the game for the Super Nintendo unless it's a platformer like Mario. Whoops. Damn it.
deadly catfish with skull faces. Damn it. Fight back up. Now this is one of those levels that you can definitely like trick the game by turning your contrast all the way up. So that way you can still see in the quote unquote dark. There's actually a part in Final Fantasy IV you can do that as well, where there's like supposed to be like this hidden passage to this sweet piece of armor that you're not supposed to get that early. And, well, you can just turn your contrast on your TV all the way up and then see in the dark. Oh no, they're falling because it's so obvious because they're a different color than the background. I'm pretty sure Kerbin's drunk all the time, Shiro. Or just really that mean-spirited. Nah. Oh, man, look at that guy. So mean. Oh, four magic scrolls. This guy's so screwed already. Dang it, stop it. <laughs> the only part of the game that it actually gets notably difficult on using your magic is the um, last boss, because you have to do a whole gauntlet of... Uh, the bosses again before him. So you just can't rely on the magic all the time. You gotta have frightening mad skills. Ah, miss. Fail! And then... Damn it. Well, that's not good. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no! That's the only problem with this game. You can't control your fall. You turn around when you jump. You're really committed to it. <laughs> 47 minutes! Apple. No, oh, it's one up. I think it's one up. Shoot. So brutal. See that? How about that collision detection? He was a good pixel or two in front of me, and I was still able to hit him. Shh, don't question the game gods. No, don't. I am God. Don't question me. Oh, tricky platforming stuff coming out of the background into the foreground. Don't die, Tom. like missing like the, the the sound effect from Mega Man. There's my apple. Hey apple. Hey. Hey apple. Raw. Get rocked. Uh, oh. Okay, here we go. Wait for him to get in the upper right hand corner. Just watch how broken this magic is. Oh, it looks like Alucard from Castlevania, now that I think of it. That, I that's okay, Hypercombo. There we go. Even though uh, Kriven is currently red, he, uh, he has a man crush on Sam. Look at that, how broken is that? Here, yeah, really. Instant death. Exactly. That only means change over to Team Jared. No way, Team Chad. Fuck no. With the power of the rap dollars. Sets, no, it's unexpected, but the people of Bloodpool have something to tell you. <laughs> it's Hypercombo. Fuck that. Team Sam all the way. Team Swagger. I don't want to say and jinx anything, but even though I'm Team Chad, I did have a sandwich earlier today. <laughs> I like that. I betrayed Chad by having a sandwich. <laughs> Kriven, that's disturbing. Pansexual. That means he has sex with pants. <laughs> Actually, that's not what it means. No, I am not, Shiro. How dare you? Kanan's just playing hard to get, that's all. <laughs> Carry the picture of a precious scroll! We present this scroll to you as an offering! Please make lands as peaceful as Bloodpool. 
Master, we no longer have monsters in here. Thank you so much. Teddy's return, the old castle carrying a precious scroll. So many scrolls. I'm sitting here going, you had a hard enough time in this castle. How the fuck did this child go in there and return unscathed What the fucking scroll? Yeah, seriously. Oh no, they're getting angry. They're getting angry. See, this is this is why they need to take the orphanages, train them in the art of war, and then send them into the castles. Because apparently, children are impervious to castle danger. Yeah, have fun storming the castle, right? Right. Great movie. <laughs> and we're going to save, and we're going to now take a rest. Yes, I would love to continue. I don't want a nap. I don't want a nap. Yeah. And we're going to move over. I can't That's remember, is it funny. the desert, or is it... That's not funny. I think it's this. Go fight some monsters. May the luck, may luck be with you! Entering mode 7, entering mode 7, yay! <laughs> not impervious to rape, too soon. Shame on you. Enter the statue! This game, in a weird way, tells you that possession is okay. As long as it's God possessing a statue, you know. Uh, I, I like how I think Ben was trying to uh, warm up the potty mouth there on uh, Zelda Wednesday. Dude, he... It wasn't the episode, like, the unwatchable episode. It was the one after that where... Look at how well I animated that is for a Super Nintendo game. Um, he was cursing like a sailor, like worse than Lauren was. And and the thing is, I think everybody was just kind of like not paying attention to it, you know? It was like, wow, Ben is a man. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the day that Nick actually does. Just like everybody's like, well, that's it. It's the end of the world. The See, minds that, are right. That, that's what they should have for a clip of the week. Just, you know, them working around the office, and then just something nonchalant that wouldn't even cause it. Just have Nick drop the F-bomb, and then the world just implodes. Yeah. You know what, um, in the clip of the week, the others, for the longest time, I wondered what the words that Nick was saying that they actually, like, bleeped them out for, and when the Too Hot for the Internet DVD came out, I was so disappointed to find out that he only said frig. I thought he was going to say something, like, ridiculous, you know? I was like, aww. Oh, well. Is Nick born again or some shit? Oh. No, no, I just think that's just the way he's always been. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, I think Shelby said he's just, he's very religious. Like, he's... Like, if you like, see him in, like, the first couple of Royal Rumbles that he's in, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Woods, and, um, and, uh, uh, Lucas Barton, were talking about how he's wearing a, a cross t-shirt to show off his Christian pride. I was about to say Spanky Putnam, but Spanky Putnam didn't exist back then. It was Lucas Barton and Jimmy Woods. For those of you who don't know, Lucas Barton is the guy from The Wizard who says, I love the Power Glove so bad. Yeah, Kriven, I think it's just, it's more or less, like, I don't even think really it's just it's his religious thing, it's just, I think it's just Nick, personally, he doesn't like swearing. Well, I, I have a friend who's a pretty, like, I don't want to make this out as a negative thing, Bible thumper, and he's like that, except when we're playing Battlefield 3 and there's a bunch of cheaters, then that's the only time I've ever seen him get, like, heated enough to actually swear. It's okay, my best friend is, uh, he's very religious, and his wife is super churchy, and the, the first, like, Christmas they came back home to visit, uh, I dragged him off for opening night for Tron Legacy. He's like, you do realize that I have been up since, like, two in the morning, and you're taking me to a movie as soon as I land off the plane, pretty much. I'm like, uh-huh, <laughs> we're driving, and he, he's like... My god, he goes, it's been pretty much over, like, almost a year, and I haven't sworn once. Five minutes in the fucking car with you, and I'm dropping the F-bomb left, right, and center. You are a horrible fucking person, Kelly. You know that? said, you missed me, did you? He goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, hey I, I make him cuss like a fucking sailor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have that effect on people. See, there you go. I should just Baby, do, do you have that effect on people? Mm. D d don't make me do the butter killers. Please, not this time! 
Yeah, so did you see how freaking broken that magic is? <laughs> breaking stuff all over the place. Now this makes a whole lot of sense. We're going to use rain to push the sand away. <laughs> Take that for what it is. <laughs> oh yeah, and Iggy, I hope you didn't take offense to the fact that I said, like, churchy type. Like I said, my uh, best friend's wife, she's really super sweet. Like, uh, my personal stance with the whole thing on religion, there's people that are religious, and then there's Bible thumpers. And Bible thumpers are the people that they, they use their religion to justify do all sorts their of, actions. To, yeah, to justify their horrible actions. It's like why can't really? we be like George Washington and Abraham Lincoln and just be deists if you're going to have anything at all? You know that just makes things so much simpler. Or you could just be like me and not do anything. <laughs> no, not really. What you gag? No, I just, I know she said I'm Christian and then went, wow, so I don't know. It's like, I'm just putting that out there. Hey, congratulations, you, my esteemed and lovely co-host has decided to offend people. Hey, at least I'm like stepping up the plate and telling them that I don't like Bible numbers. I will flat out fucking say that I cannot with, I cannot stand people that use religion as an excuse for bullshit. Yeah, I, I don't either, it's just... It's like, it's... really? It's like, you want to quote the Bible? Well, did you read this section, and this section, and maybe this section, too, about how you should not cast judgment on others? Mm -hmm. Fuck you, Kriven. <laughs> what did he say? He said, Kelly, I'm offended. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> He's just I'm doing that to be a contrarian. This. Guys in the desert. Oh, I forgot. What am I supposed to do? That should in the desert, please. Oh, okay. We're just supposed to leave it to him. I can do that. Let me use use my miracle. Allowed to go to the back. We're Team Jared. Jared at! Where is that guy? Team Jared! You, Jared, you've got so many followers in here. You, you don't even know, man. You're gonna have Good record ride. support. Team Jared for the fucking win! Mm -hmm. No Criven. No Down. Criven. Down, boy. <laughs> I'm really hoping I didn't just wake my sister up. <laughs> she can deal with it. Uh oh. Yeah, no, Kriven, don't make me get the squirt bottle. Oh, dear. My master, we have found strange bones, some arrows that only last for five minutes. Yay. Huzzah. Yeah, seriously. We'll use this in a place where I gotta buy for time from all these bastards. Okay, close that gate. Smash that tree. Yeah, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I know the difference. And Deli, switch your name to Red. Uh oh. Fighting words. That ain't fighting words. That's see, he knows I will promptly kick his ass Whoops. if he does not. Do, do it, Deli. Team Jared for the win. Oh, Kanan. For the G1 after dark. Nice. Oh, very nice, Jared. Yeah, we were using this as a uh, way to keep people entertained leading up to the big show in 35 minutes. Nice save there, Mal. <laughs> <laughs> Mal. Oh, you. Come on, Denny. Come on, the winning team. Turn it to red. Now. I think Deli's afraid to talk Oops. now. Now look what you made me do. My lord, nothing happened! <laughs> What'd you say? Cannon? Do I have to, like, go back and watch? 
Tremendous rain fell now from the deserts, revealing this pyramid! Presence excluding from it! Quiet, you Dell's my bro here. Yes! Now you use the earthquake on here. Stu, Ning Show leader! Besides, I'm part British! I'm like, you know... But now you said you were Irish. Actually, I'm half and half. Oh like, man, you are side. so conflicted then! I know! You know, like, you, you can't tell if you want to walk into a bar and say Oliver Cromwell's my hero or not. Do you even know who that is? Nope. Go look it up in your history books. He's not a very nice person to the Irish. The situation has seemed to improve, me lord! All I know is, you know it's a sad day when somebody that works at a tanning parlor tells you you're genetically screwed. Yeah, like me, where it's like, you're half German and half Irish, and... And both sides of your family are prone to alcoholism. Lovely! Yay! Um, this is why I don't start. You know, uh, when my best friend was getting married, I got dragged to a, a, a wedding convention, which is scary, by the way. That sounds and, scary. Yes. So anyways, they, they had a tanning section up, because they're like, yeah, you know, because it's a convention and blah, 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 we can sign you up for packages, you know, get a tan oh, before the wedding. that package. <laughs> anyways. Really? Really? That package? You're a guy, think of that one. Hey, it uh, could be your package. No. That, Anyways, that box. Don't be talking about my box. Mm, all up in that box. No, you're not. Anyways. Oh. <laughs> Anyways. Um, the guy's like, yeah, here's a pamphlet, and come on in. I'm like, I don't tan. And he's like, oh, everybody tans. It's not like... Everyone's got... doing it. I mean, jeez. No, no, no. Yay! Like, like, it's Level not up. like you have freckles, and I roll up my sleeve, and my, like, I am horribly freckled all over the arse and everything, and he's just like, oh, he goes, well, at least you don't have red hair, I said, actually, I have natural red pigmentation in my hair, my hair does go red this summer, and he goes, oh, honey, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I got an offering! I'm gonna do an internet! I'm gonna do an internet? Yeah. And now I'm about to screw up everything and cause an earthquake. Oh hell no you did not, Deli. I will fucking kill you. I will come over and I will kick your limey ass. I'm gonna do a book. Oh. I suppose now some of you are thinking, Tom, that was a horrible thing to do. Why did you do that? Why did you take the earthquake? Because if you do the earthquake, you get a source of life. Yay! Extra life. Now that uh, rolls over to every other map you go to, so. It's okay. I know Deli's weakness. Deli, I'm telling Burm. Now, by wrecking all those houses, they will actually build sturdier houses. I think they're called Pueblos in Mexico. Okay, why are they all complaining? So, Deli, I, I noticed that you're still in blue font and not red font. Red row. <laughs> They're all sad. Ah. Uh, yeah. Hi, Jared. Raw. Hey, John Deli. He's Team Chad and Mal. Kick his ass. It's gonna be fighting time. Good boy, Deli. Now I expect to see you in Marty Party after dark, shouting "Chad's awesomeness" for Team Jared. And if I see Team Chad from you again, I will come over there. I will launch my foot so far up your ass, you can taste the fucking leather of my heels. Oh, see, that was a new one that she's. The old joke was, "My water knee will quench your thirst." <laughs> that was the old one in high school. See, see, Mal. Look at that! They're smart. building all the stuff around him, and they're leaving that guy in the middle of the street. <laughs> that guy's just being a dick at that point. Lord will provide. He will save me. Like, no, no. In fact, I moon you. There you go. Just whizzing arrows over your head. Because you know you suck like that. And the last one. Oh my God. I'm just. I'm ignoring that. <laughs> That's, uh, got a bit of a wee, huh? 
This stuff's from Japan, man. It's crazy. Everything from Japan's crazy. Now that was the old clip of the week where Ben was doing the um. <laughs> yeah. I, I got some screw attack from you. This stuff's from Texas, man. It's crazy. Daddy. Oh man. Daddy, daddy, daddy. I'm gonna fucking murder you. Oh. That's not even the right color. <laughs> You're not even doing it right. You fucking suck. Yeah, that's not the right color, yo. <laughs> that's like in between, like, Chad and Shelby. <laughs> so, in other yeah, words, as the you great. Can't even, you can't even defect properly. No, no. That's sad. Seriously, I mean. <laughs> In the grand scheme of the internet meme, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> That's it, Deli. Go hang your head in shame and cry tears. Seriously, we have... you have colored oh, cups. Oh, that's fantastic. That's awesome. Co team colored cups for our drinks. <laughs> you should all get appropriate colored uh, flavors of Monster to just go even further with that. Take it as far as you can with it. out the important thing is he should be red if he knows what's good for him drink is blue but whatever that's fine what are you drinking jared i'm thinking monster or Maybe. powerade ocean water <laughs> this tastes salty ah uh. no that's okay your mind went there that's not what i was doing that's terrible. Hawaiian punch. Yes, Hawaiian punch. Oh, man. Do you like a Hawaiian punch? Sure. 